Hello everyone and welcome back. Just following from the last tutorial where I showed you how to download and install Typhler and some very basics. In today's tutorial I will show you how to create grass effect in Typhler. There are many different ways to do it, this is just one of them. So let's get started. Okay, so to make a start, first of all you need to have a ground. I've created mine already. Uh, you can do this by just selecting the box and create one. Uh, once you have your ground, just click on Typhlow icon and open the editor. So in here, uh, first we need to add the birth operator and change the total particles to like 50,000. Uh, you can change this number later on to uh, to make it higher or lower depend depends how dense your grass needs to be. Um, so before I add anything else, I actually need to go back to my ground, select your box, and convert it to edit poly. And uh, this will basically allow us to select the top of it. Uh, so that's where we want our grass to be. So once you've done that, go back to Typhlo. Um, so after the birth operator, we need to add shape. And once you added the shape, uh, just go to setting and under the mesh, select 3D. And over here, you've got a list of different items. We need to select the grass, so short or long, we just select long. And, and after the shape, what we need to do is uh, add position object. Um, and just click on pick and select the top of your ground. Uh, as you can see, there's something appearing now, you know, these small dots. And, Make sure under the location, this is always select the faces. Um, because if we change it to something else, and uh, those dots will disappear. But it's better to have it the faces because that's the top of it, top of the ground basically. Um, so once you've done that, go to display. First of all, change the color of your grass. So we want the grass make it like greenish. This will do. And under the display type, at the moment it's got small dots, so just change this to geometry. And now if we look, we can see the grass appearing. Um, but as you can see, it's not dense enough. So even the 50,000 is not enough. What we need to do is go back to, you can do it two ways. So you can go to shape, and change the scale maybe, just to have it more dense and change the size. Um, so yeah, just select the scale and instead of 100, maybe 200. So now it's much bigger and more visible, um, but still not dense enough. So we can go back to birth and change the total particles to instead of having a like 50,000, maybe 150,000. Let's see what we get. So as you can see, yeah, it's looking okay now. Yeah, it's not bad. So this is basically just one way to do it. Uh, oh yeah, and if you're not happy with the actual look of it, um, you can always uh, apply material. So just to have a more natural look. But again, as I mentioned at the start, this is just one way to do it. And, and there is also a plugin available. It's called Forest Pack, which has everything that you need for landscape, such as trees, flowers, grass, whatever. Um, yeah, you can use that too. But I hope this tutorial was helpful. And thank you very much for watching.